This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Good morning. It's now uh, Thursday, and it's been two days since I had my last long drive, which was the Sunday driving of the EQS. Yeah, so yesterday I've been slacking, and today I'm also going to be kind of, well, slacking, but they're not driving anywhere. So, yeah, uh, I guess I tried to make one of these uh, vlog styles because um, I kind of want to show you guys some cool stuff, what I'm actually doing when I'm not on a long trip, because some people think I'm always driving on the road because, okay, from what you see in the perspective, you know, you know uh, how to explain this? This is what you see, you know, through my channel. But then we have a lot of stuff going around that you don't see because me as a video creator I choose what you guys see but today I will show you a little bit outside of it like today uh, so uh, what's the time now okay it's almost 10 yeah I have my comfy uh, shoes on inside this is usually my comfy outfit when I'm uh, in the house this is our chihuahua she's uh, five years old now and uh, She's tiny, but you see she's wearing this thing here. Yeah, so she has a period now. So we just have to, yeah, I have to remove this one before we walk Dolly. Let me see. So then I just place it here. Let me see. Like this. Yeah, there's also dedicated dog diapers, but we use them also, but we realize that this is actually way more convenient and also makes a smaller environmental impact rather than changing the whole diaper and it's just here it's not a big flood of blood coming out anyway so it's a small dog but okay so i prepared this one now i'm gonna go walk dolly a bit in the morning what it's 10 degrees outside well uh, winter is coming summer is over you see, for most occasions, I can use this one, the Stormberg Vigueur jacket, recycled material. Uh, but I think today I need to go for this jacket. It's also Stormberg. It's a lot warmer. Wait, what? This is wifey. Oh, wait, this is also Stormberg. This is also Stormberg. Why? She, she has only Storm. Wait, is this also Storm? I think I saw the logo. That. Oh yeah. Wow. And this is, oh yeah, okay, this is the same one as my black. Well, she has four jackets. I only use two. Hmm. I think the same goes for shoes, right? Yeah, what the heck, man? I have two pairs of shoes. She has one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, that's only there. And then here. Oh, that's a big mess, man. What? Woman? Huh? Oh, I just need to drop something. Okay, whatever. Well, it's a lovely day today. So you see, I have mounted the microphone on Dolly, but I have muted her for now. So I'm going to unmute her now. You will hear that she sounds like a pig, constantly. And in the garage here we have the EQS I've been testing. So yeah, I put the rock there just for uh, sanity. Well, maybe I should remove it, but... Okay, so this is kind of a weird setup. Um, the car is on. I have the EcoFlow in the back there. I'm trying to discharge the battery. So uh, actually yesterday I put the heater in here, heater oven, to just discharge the, the EcoFlow. And you can see that we set the temperature to 16 degrees. I actually have it on low even yesterday. But um, then, well, it's kind of funny, right? So, uh, let me just make it stop the, the bugging. So what I did was that, oh, we're at 42 now, what? We lost 16% during the night only and still have 300. Okay, so I have to explain here. It's like a, 
kind of complicated case. I'm trying to charge up the car. I tried to record a charging session with the eco charge option. Yeah, I can show you here the eco charge option. It's actually on right now. So what is the eco charge? It will try to save the battery life by uh, when you when you AC charge it. It will try to finish charging uh, by the time your arrival time is set to to let's say if you charge 100 percent so then it doesn't stay at 100 percent too long uh it will also limit the charging to 80 percent well actually yeah that means 80 percent and not 100 percent and then the charging power is reduced and i saw that we were we were hovering right right over 100 kilowatt maybe 103 kilowatt but it was staying at 100 kilowatt but i did that recording two days ago the same day uh, actually after i did um, the only fans run and i was dead tired and i i couldn't escape home until i think it was one at night and i started recording and then for 20 minutes it went fine i recorded i put this camera here and i recorded the screen because i did it near my home and then after 20 minutes i passed out and then when i woke up again the screen was black i was like shit because then the car went into some sleep mode I, uh, so I have to redo it and then but suddenly it was like dude I have 75% battery and this is a freaking EQS rear-wheel drive it is so uh, well it is fairly efficient but it has so good range well it went to uh, sleep okay so what we are trying to do now is to drive it low because otherwise I have to spend several extra hours just driving it down you know before I need to get it down to 10% so that's what I've been doing. I've been running HVAC, and this is a trick, by the way. Wait, it went back to park. Oh, no, no. Yeah, but the trick is that you have to put it in uh, neutral. And then you, you see this one? This is the park brake. You engage the park brake. You can see it here. And now we're in the, this kind of camp mode thing. The same trick I used when I slept in the other EQS overdrive drive during winter. Uh, so it works. You see, the car has been on for well if you take this one away you can see um yeah yeah 18 hours <laughs> it's been kind of sat sitting in the garage <laughs> but to, to speed things up what i did was that i lower the temperature and then open the windows open the roof uh, and also heated up the cabin so the car was trying to cool down the cabin we heated it up until the eco floor was empty and then i stopped it but then in the garage with with the uh, HVAC on cooling on it would then constantly try to cool the cabin and it would just run the AC unit and actually the garage would heat up slowly and then I guess some heat gets escaped but okay so this is the best we can do now <laughs> hopefully I can start I have some errands at the run so hopefully I can start uh, tonight uh, with 30 percent and that should be fine so I think I'm going to uh, uh, I own the doll instead. So uh, let me see. Can we get an estimation, by the way, if we do this? Let's say, uh, so you can find it. Yes, there, there, there. Huh? We have Ladestau there? What? 10 in the morning? The fuck? Man, uh, well, okay, but I think it's because the Ionity, they are the cheapest one. That's why. So people, they gangbang Ionity because uh, the, the electric price now is dirt uh, expensive. Okay, route optimization. This, this, this kind of stuff here on a short route would take just less than a second on a Tesla. But then because they fit a, a 486 Intel CPU in here, it takes freaking forever to figure out how many percent that will arrive with. Uh, wait, huh? Wait, I was... Huh? Is it supposed to take that long, man? Come on. It's just uh, 48 kilometers to that point. We don't have to calculate forever just to find the percentage. Uh, legacy automakers for the win. Well, okay, meanwhile, I can show you guys the nice interior. I also put the, everything counts. I put on the seat ventilation also. The seat heater went off after a while, so that one was kind of, yeah. But uh, the screens were trying to suck a little bit. The HVAC, uh, HVAC was the most uh, energy intensive one. And right now I'm actually charging the EcoFlow. So I'm pulling around 100 watts from it. Hey, dude, it doesn't finish. Okay, whatever, whatever. Okay, okay. Uh, it just, uh, yeah. It, it, this has happened before also during 1000 kilometer challenge and then it just kind of bugged out. But okay, um, now I need to go inside at the house and do some baby stuff.
Hello, Isabel. <laughs> she is so big now. Yeah, three and a half months, seven kilograms. Wow. <laughs> She's been eating good. Only mama's milk. Oh man, she's so cute and chubby. Look, look at her chin. <sighs> look at this. Look at this. Does it look like daddy's? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Okay, okay. We'll try to do this with one hand. Huh? Mwah, 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 Okay. Okay, sorry for the mess over there, but here we have four moms, mama roll. You can also use the apps. You see, I have many different modes here tree swing, car ride. Maybe I should go for the car ride. Wait, wait, wait. There. And then I use intensity three. Man, this thing here could usually be a time saver. I can usually buy some time, maybe five, 10 minutes before she gets too grumpy. So it will work for now. I have another one upstairs also. Man, I gotta say, this thing here that I got from Amvina when I was in Sweden is the gift from God to the man and the woman. It's a strap-on. Let me show you, what, what's the brand by the way? Uh, wait, there, 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 there. So how, how do you put it on? Just, you have Velcro here. Just put it kind of tight around your waist and you click it in here, you tight. <sighs> and now I'm ready for some action. And now I can do this. <laughs> oh man, you have no idea how much time I spend holding Isabel. Okay, now I'm gonna show you why the Mercedes EQS is the perfect family car. So I'm going to prepare the child seat in here. Let's see, enter. Oh yeah. So you see, here we have some schmutz, but um, we have lid for opening the Isofix. <coughs> Only minus is that uh, okay. We have to put the lid somewhere, but at least when it's not in use, you can just put it back here, and you see it looks nice and stylish. But here I prepared it on this side. So the safest spot for the baby is to be mounted there. So I begin by putting on this seat cover. It's from Diono. I got it from uh, Amvina in Sweden. So um, we have this lip here. So why do I use this seat cover, by the way? Um, you know, first I mainly use it for Tesla because they tend to have weak seats. But then I noticed that in the German cars, they have more sturdy leather, but um, the thing is that with this one, I noticed yesterday I used it without the seat cover and things can tend to slide a little bit around the, the seat, but then with this one, it adds a little bit extra friction. So it's kind of stays in place. All right. And then we take out the easy fix base. Look how easy it is to just mount it in. Okay. Let me adjust this one a little bit. Fairly large opening on the door and then mount the hooks. And this is very easy to lock it. The easy fix hooks. Look, it's like stealing candy from a baby. And so this seat is not even adjusted that much forward. It's in a fairly normal driving position. And we have so much space here. And look at the trunk on the EQS. We have the hatch opening, big door for putting in large item. And this is heaven as a family car. Let me see, so I can put, um, yeah, we can take the carry cot like this. Zoop right in. You see how easy? Well, maybe I'll put it the other way like this. Okay, so that one fits just fine. And then we take the Cybex e uh frame and we put it right in here without having to remove any wheels or anything. And it just slides 
right in. Plenty of space. We could even fit two of these e priams in here. Or at least, yeah, no, no, I think so. <laughs> That's how much space we have. You can see it closes, no problemo. We are finally on the move. Man, it took forever. It took at least one hour just to get ready. Yeah, with a baby, wifey needed to pump her uh, breasts one side and yeah. So anyway, yes, you can see that I'm, I'm the chauffeur. Wifey is having the king seat in the back <laughs> and then Isabel is sitting over there. Yeah, in the Cybex. This is Cybex cloud set. No huh? lava. Okay, she's not sleeping yet, but you know what? Isabel, every time we start driving, she would just instantly fall asleep. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Perfect for road tripping, I guess. Okay, barely legal. Oh, the Undertaker is here. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to Metro Center today. It's near our home. And man, this EQS, when it comes to comfort, you know, this is the ABC, always best comfort. Wifey loves this car. <laughs> yeah, she kept asking me, uh, can we buy it? Can we buy it? <laughs> I'm like, of course, honey, we can buy it. Of course, whatever you and the baby likes. Yeah, I also like it. I'm not gonna lie, man. Just look, look at the interior here. Wifey, just look in the back, look in the side, side here. Look at the ambient light, huh? Type it on, huh? Do you like this shit? Do you like this shit, huh? But the the com the it's just so silent. The ride here is just sublime. Oh man, yeah. Too bad I have to return it tomorrow. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna find a spot now. All right, let me take it. You know, you know what's kind of silly? In Norway, we have these handicap spots. In Thailand, handicap spots and families they can use them but here it's reserved for the handicapped yeah i can i kind of need extra space all right let me park is it normally i would uh, back into a parking spot but now that we have to enter the trunk then suddenly i realize that going forward is better in this situation and the 360 camera in the eqs is just freaking awesome and i have um, 4.5 degrees uh, rear wheel steering so this car is just so nimble despite being 5.2 meters long just look how easy it is to maneuver here right? that guy is kind of okay okay but he's he's leaving soon so um but i want to go a little bit forward slightly forward just oh yeah look at this, look at this. You can park right in the middle all right all good so you see here yeah i poke a little bit back here because i, I wasn't sure how much space i had in front of me in case that guy accidentally backs up because he might be in reverse but man look at this beast oh i love it people will be like eh, but, uh, i don't care i i like the looks i like the looks of the eqs and let me show you guys more in the back and this one has the amg package so you see it has some kind of rare diffusion and stuff maybe it's not the most aerodynamic one with the amg package but i like it oh Wifey also likes it. This one has a 21 inch wheels. Look, look. it's e -prium. it's electric. Wifey just pushes it barely and it goes uphill uh, like a boss. Well, Wifey used to be the boss, but now Isabelle is the boss. So this is a favorite restaurant here at the Metro. It's called Les Baguettes. Yes, Vietnamese, you know, uh, they have a bam, bam mi, that's very common, uh, uh, Vietnamese baguette. But here we have lots of good stuff. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I could show what, what we have. There. Oh, this mango also. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So, you know, Asian people, we like to eat Asian food. Oh, that one also is good. Spring, uh, yeah, typical uh, Japanese, uh, Vietnamese food. Yeah. So, and also this pork is also delicious. Oh man, there's so much good food here. But um, at least today, we're gonna go for pho. Yeah. So here is the pho. This is pho. And this is bumba uh, hei. Bumba hei is just like a similar like pho, but it's, it's like this spicier. So yeah, wife is also going for pho. That's the owner, by the way. 
<laughs> ja. Oh, har du assistent? Ja, 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 selvfølgelig. <laughs> oh. You know, you know when you know when wifey was pregnant last year, she was constantly hungry, and I came here to take away, and I had fur. I think almost in one week we had every day in a row something. <laughs> okay, now we we'll sit and chill. Okay, now I'm gonna get some bubble tea. But look here. So we have a little slope here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how awesome this Ipriam is. All right, I'll let go now. Let go now. It breaks by itself. Huh? How awesome is that? <laughs> you can be the clumsiest dad in the planet. And we still have this. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go. So there's a sensor here. So it senses. But if you just let, the, let go again, then it senses that it goes downhill and then it breaks. <laughs> All right, the food is ready. This is pho. Oh, so delicious. See, healthy food, clean meat and everything and vegetables. And also we have taro milk tea here. And this is brown sugar. Oh yeah. And that's wife's food. But um, can we eat now? No, because uh, Isabel needs my attention. It's either my attention or uh, mommy's attention. <laughs> so one person needs to eat and another person needs to hold the baby. And also, you can see over there, by the way, uh, we tried the self-rocking feature of uh, um, the Cybex, but we can try. Will she settle? Oh, maybe it works now. <gasps> okay, good night. Probably not. <laughs> oh. Nope, nope, nope. It doesn't work. Sometimes even the electronics doesn't work and you need hu some human touch. <laughs> Wife is done eating, now I'm going to eat and we bottle fed uh, uh, Isabel a little bit and now she's uh, breastfeeding. I think Isabel prefers the, the, the real uh, breasts. We are now back home in the garage, that was a long day man, but here you can see that uh, Having the charge port on the left side is the right side and the right side is the wrong side because now I can open the door kind of, it's kind of tight and ideally I want to park closer here but you see the charge port is on the right side with the wrong side. So, but okay, let me see. I'll show you something else here. Here we have, what was this? Ah, the Anhanke Kupplung. Yeah, nice. Then. Retract it. Wait. There, and you just have to kick it in place. But you see, when we've been transporting baby stroller today, <laughs> and you see those dark spots here. I think that's where the wheels were rubbing against. So, and it was not. I mean, it wasn't even wet today. But you see, if you had black interior, you wouldn't see the dirt. So, I guess you could put some floor mat here, but then they are typically black. So. I guess you just have to A, B, C, always be cleaning this car. Well, what about where wife is sitting today? Uh, let me check here. Oh man, I, look, look at this. Oh, Jesus, man. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, oh. Okay, anyway. But yeah, okay, not too dirty. I guess on a wet day and especially in winter, it would be messy. But I mean, if you can afford an EQS, you can afford shipping it to some detailer who can fix I mean, who can clean this what about over here me a dirty guy oh, oh yeah i'll see you see mm. but oh, yeah i have to say i like this one you see i had some uh, equipment here uh, some uh, camera charging equipment and okay first of all we have this edge here so stuff doesn't uh, slide around and then we also have this strap on so i could strap on my stuff and it would stay there that's nice man uh, but I gotta show you that. So I'm going to do a charging test tonight. I have 33% and 268 kilometers. 
um, I think I need roughly 10% to go to Dahl. So maybe I'll just try to idle a little bit more here. Try to get it down to maybe 25% for tonight. A, B, C. Oh, shit. 